Hello students, today we are going to solve practice set 1.3. In this exercise, there is question 1, fill in the blanks with correct numbers. It contains determinant of 3, 2, 4, 5. Here, we are going to complete the blanks 3 multiply by box minus multiply by box multiply by 4 then there is again box minus 8 and there is again box you can see that while solving the determinant we are going to cross multiply so 3 multiply by 5 minus 4 multiply by 2. So 3 5 is a 15, 2, 2 4 is a 8, 15 minus 8 that is 7. This is our answer of the question 1. Now in question 2, we are going to solve the determinants. We have to find the values of the determinants. The first determinant of minus 1 7, 2 4. So we have to again cross multiply. So first minus 1 multiply by 4, then 2 multiply by 7. So minus 1 multiply by 4, it becomes minus 4, minus 2 7 is 14. Minus 4 minus 14, that is minus 18. That is our answer. Second, second determinant is given 5 3 minus 7 0 again we are going to cross multiply 5 multiply by 0 minus 7 multiply by 3 so 5 multiply 0 is 0 minus minus plus 7 3 is a 21 0 plus 21 is 21 that is our answer third determinant we are going to solve determinant of 7 by 3 5 by 3, 3 by 2, 1 by 2. We can solve this determinant. Again, we are going to cross multiply. 7 by 3, multiply 1 by 2, minus 3 by 2, multiply 5 by 3. So you can see, 7 1 is a 7, 3 2 is a 6, minus 3 5 is a 15, 2 3 is a 6. So you can see the denominator is same. We can write here 7 minus 15, 7 minus 15, that is minus 8 by 6. Again, you can write this fraction in simplest form by dividing by 2. So it becomes 2 4 is 8, 2 3 is 6, means minus 4 by 3. That is our final answer. This was your question 2. Now let's come to the next question. Question 3, solve the equations, solve the simultaneous equations using Cramer's rule. First, here 3x minus 4y equals to 10. Another equation is 4x plus 3y equals to 5. For solving these simultaneous equations using Cramer's rule, first we are going to write determinant. So first we are going to solve determinant. In, in this case, in Cramer's rule, we are going to write coefficient of x, 3, coefficient y, minus 4. Next, coefficient of x, 4, coefficient y, 3. And we are going to solve this determinant. So again, we are going to cross multiply and subtract them. So 3 multiply by 3, 4 multiply minus 4. So it becomes 3, 3 is a 9. Minus minus plus it becomes 4 4 the 16. So 9 plus 16 is 25. Now another step for Kramer rule is dx. We are going to find dx. So in case of dx, what you have to do? You see here there are coefficient of x and these are the coefficients of y. So in 
for writing determinant of dx instead of x coefficient we are going to write the constants so constants are 10 and 5 so i'm going to write here 10 5 and here y coefficient will remain as it is minus 4 3 and as usual we are going to solve the determinant by cross multiplication and then subtract so here it becomes 10 3 za and here it becomes 5 minus 4 za 10 3 za 30 minus minus plus 5 4 za 20 so 30 plus 20 is 50 so this is the value of dx now we are going to find the value of dy so in case of dy while writing the determinant instead of y coefficients you can see here dy instead of y coefficients we are going to write the constants the constants are 10 5 and here we are going to write the coefficient of x as it is the coefficient of x where 3 4 now let's solve the determinant by multi cross multiplying and subtract them it becomes 3 5 za and here it becomes 4 10 za so 3 5 za 15 4 10 za 14 so here 15 15 minus 40 15 minus 40 it becomes minus 25 now according to Kramer rule x what is x that is dx upon d means dx the value of dx is 50 the value of d is 25 so let's divide 25 to the and the value of x is 2 now let's the find the value of y it means dy upon d that is dy the value of dy is minus 25 d is 25 25 ones are 25 it becomes minus 1 therefore solution for the given simultaneous equation x y is 2 minus 1 this is our solution of given simultaneous equation using Kramer's rule now another question we are going to solve from the question 3 4x plus 3y minus 4 equals to 0 6x equals to 8 minus 5y in solution I am going to write the given equations the given equations are 4x plus 3y you can see minus 4 is here you can write 4 minus 4 it becomes plus 4 here equation 1 in another equation you can see 6x minus 5y here it becomes on the left side it becomes 5y equals to 8 constant as it is these are the our given equations now let's find the value of d first according to grammar rule the value of d becomes coefficient of x 4 coefficient of y is 3 coefficient of s 6 coefficient of y is 5 so here you can see 4 and 6 are coefficient of x 3 and y are coefficients of y now let's cross multiply and subtract them so you can see 4 5 is a here 6 3 is a so 4 5 is a 20 minus 6 3 is a 18 the so 20 minus 18 it becomes 2 now let's find the value of dx so as said above as said in the previous problem in finding the value of dx instead of x you have to write constants here the so constants are 4 and 8 and here y coefficients as it is 3 5 so let's cross multiply and subtract them it becomes 4 5 here it becomes 4 3 so 4 5 is a 20 8 3 is a 24 so 20 minus 24 it becomes minus 4 now let's find the value of dy so while writing the value of dy in terms of determinant instead of y coefficient we are going to write the, write the constants 4 8 okay and here x coefficients as it is 4 to 6 now let's solve them by cross multiplying it becomes 4 8 za it becomes 6 4 za so 4 8 za 32 6 4 za 24 32 minus 24 it becomes 8 now by Kramer rule according to Kramer rule we can find as x by dividing dx by d 
So what is the dx? The value of dx is minus 4. The value of d is 2. We can solve this. It becomes minus 2. The value of y becomes dy upon d. So the value of dy is 8. You can divide by d. That is 2. It becomes 4. So therefore, solution for xy is minus 2, 4. This is the required solution of given simultaneous equation using Cramer's rule. Now, let's come to the next question. That is fourth problem. x plus 2y equals to minus 1. And 2x minus 3y equals to 12. So first we are going to find the value of d. You can see here coefficient of x is 1, coefficient of y is 2, coefficient of x is 2, coefficient of y is minus 3. So let's solve this by cross multiplying and subtract them. 1 into minus 3, 2 into 2. It becomes minus 3 minus 4 that is minus 7 now let's find out dx the value of dx can be find out by using writing in you can see dx so instead of x coefficient we are going to write the constants minus 4 and uh, y coefficient as it is now we can solve this minus 1 minus 3 here it becomes 12 2 Minus 1 minus 3 is plus 3. 12 to the 24. 3 minus 24, it becomes minus 20. Now let's find out the value of dy in terms of determinant. The dy can be written as, you can see, y, y is here, dy. Instead of y coefficients, we are going to write the constants. And here, x coefficient as it is. Now let's solve them. It becomes 12 ones are and 2 minus 1. So 12 ones are 12, minus minus plus 2, 12 plus 2 is 14. Now by Cramer's rule, by Cramer's rule, we can find the value of x by dividing dx by d. dx becomes minus 21, d is minus 7, 7 3 is 21, minus minus plus, it becomes 3. The value of y can be found out by dividing dy by d. The value of dy is 14. The value of d is 7. Sorry, minus 7. So 7 twos are 14. Plus minus minus, it becomes minus 2. Therefore, required solution xy is 3 minus 2. This is the required solution for the given subvertice equation using Cramer's rule. Now, let's solve next problem, 6x minus 4y equals to minus 12, 8x minus 3y equals to minus 2. Now, in solution, we are going to find the value of d first the value of d you are going to write the coefficient of x here coefficient of x is 6 coefficient of y is minus 4 coefficient of x is 8 coefficient of y is minus 3 so first we can solve this determinant by cross multiplying and subtract them 6 minus 3 8 minus 4 6 minus 3 minus 18 minus minus plus 8 4 is a 32 minus 18 plus 32 yes minus 18 plus 32 is 14 okay now let's find out the value of dx the value of dx can be found out by writing determinant instead of x coefficients we are going to write the constants minus 12 minus 2 here y coefficients as it is now let's solve by cross multiplying minus 12 
minus three, minus two, minus four, minus minus plus twelve three is a thirty six. Minus minus minus. So in common multiplication, minus is a four two is a eight. So you can see thirty six minus eight. That is twenty eight. Now let's find the value of dy. Again, we are going to write in terms of determinant. The value of dy instead of y coefficients. We are going to write the constants, and here x coefficient as it is six eight. Let's solve this by cross multiplying and subtract them. Six minus two minus twelve, twelve eight minus nine six. Sorry, I am going to write it. Six into minus two and eight into minus twelve. So six into minus two, that is minus twelve, minus minus plus, it becomes twelve is a ninety six. So minus twelve plus ninety six means ninety six minus twelve, that is six minus two is four, nine minus one is eight. Okay. Now by Cramer's rule, we are going to find the value of x by dividing dx by d. The value of dx is twenty eight. The value of d Is fourteen. Fourteen two is a twenty-eight. So we got the value of x two. Now let's find the value of y. The value of y can be found out by dividing dy by d. dy the value of dy is eighty-four. Eighty-four divided by fourteen. Fourteen six is a. So we got six. Therefore, solution x y is two six. This is the Required solution of the given Sammartin equation using Cramer's rule. In the same way, you can find the solution of the next question. Fifth, that is, four m plus six n equals to fifty-four. Three m plus two n equals to Twenty-eight. So here, again, we are going to find the value of d first. The coefficient of x y. Now there is no x y. There are m n. We are going to write four six here. The value of the coefficients of m n three two here. Now we can cross multiply and subtract them. This is four two za. This is three six za. Four two za eight. Six three za eighteen. So eight minus eighteen it becomes. Minus ten. Now let's find the value of dm, not d x dy. Here the coefficients, the variables are m n. Therefore, we are going to find the value of dm. So in case of dm, so without without writing the coefficients of m here, we are going to write the constants. That is fifty four, twenty eight, and n coefficients as it is six two. Now let's solve them by cross multiplying and subtract them. So fifty four two is a twenty eight six is a. So fifty-four two is a two four is a eight two five is a ten minus twenty-eight six is a six eight is a forty-eight six eight carry four six two is a twelve twelve four six two minus one six two now one zero eight minus one six eight it becomes minus six two now let's find the value of d n so d n can be found out by writing in determinant form. Instead of n coefficients, we are going to write the constants here, fifty-four, twenty. And here we are going to write the coefficients of m. Now let's solve by cross multiplying them. Four twenty-eight here, three fifty-four. Four twenty-eight, four twenty-eight is a one hundred twelve minus three fifty-four is a one sixty-two. So minus uh, here one one. Two minus one six two, it becomes minus fifty. Therefore, by Cramer's rule, by Cramer's rule, we can find out the value of m by dividing dm by d. The value of dm is minus sixty. The value of d is minus ten. Ten six is a sixty minus minus plus. The value of m is six. Next, the value of n we can find out dn by d. Dividing dn by d. The value of d n is minus fifty. The value of d is minus ten. Minus minus plus it becomes plus five. 
so therefore solution for mn is 6 5 students by using same method we can also find out the sixth problem from your exercise that is 2x plus 3y equals to 2 and x minus y by 2 equals to 1 by 2 now here what you have to do multiply by 2 both side equation 2 multiply by 2 both side so after multiplying by 2 both side it becomes 2x here after multiplying by 2 2 2 will get cancelled we will get 1 multiply by 2 2 2 will get cancelled we will get 1 and you have to solve equation 1 and 3 by grammar soon first find the value of d by using this way then find the value of dx then find the value of dy and then use grammar rule for finding x and y so students i hope you have got all these uh, solutions in easy way now mere channel ko aap subscribe yeah. kijiye share kijiye like kijiye aap apne friends ke sath bhi video share kijiye thank you for watching this video